the rise of the Antichrist. The Antichrist will possess the knowledge and abilities of an avatar, and he will seem to perform miracles. His emergence into the world prominence will be a signal to those who work in the light that this is the time for them to step forward. The manifestation of the Antichrist into physical form has been forged by the minds of man locked into the current of their own fear and judgments. Within the next several years, the impending effects of the monastic, monastic radiation belt will be realized by the major population. This belt is presently merging with the Earth's atmosphere. The monastic radiation belt is interacting with Earth's own radioactive waste that has been released into the atmosphere after multiple nuclear explosions over the last 50 years. The effects of this contamination are now evident within the Earth's inner atmosphere, affecting everything from trees to oceans and rivers. Earth and your solar system are rapidly moving into the, into the monastic radiation belt. And as a result, the planet is experiencing global warming. This radiation is also creating experiencing of increased deformities within the human consciousness. Ironically, as the planet is warming and the ice caps are receding, there is a scarcity of water and drought in many areas. Although some humans who are feeling the effect of the, of the monastic belt are definitely moving in the direction of Christ consciousness, there are many more reverting to Neanderthal consciousness. This is especially obvious in the cities where there is pollution, as well as manipulation of the population through constant in, inundation of electromagnetic frequencies. The expansion and contraction of human consciousness will intensify the geophysical changes as dimensional realities merge. Your religious institutions will have no answers. And their failure to assist people during this time will act as a catapult for the emergence of a being who the desperate and gullible general masses will decree as the, air quoting, savior of the world. This false, air quoting, messiah is already amongst you. Remember, you manifest your fears. That's the thing you show. This messiah is between 30 to 40 years of age. As a writing of this book, and although he, he is aware of certain abilities he possesses, Pardon me. I have a dog, a young one, and she is, oh my god, a handful. I will continue. Knock it off. Sorry. <laughs> This Messiah is 30, between 30 to 40 years of age. As the writing of this book, and although he is aware of certain abilities he possesses, he has not been thrown into the role of Messiah. It is the mass consciousness and the constant creation of the events over and over that will occur in the drama of the Armageddon that will cause much grief to those who cannot let go of this thought pattern. It will be their own patterns of thought through the laws of manifestation, which will bring forth, forth this false Messiah. The emergence of the Antichrist will coincide with the renewed outbreak of war in the Middle East. 
At this time, the world societies will become paralyzed by fear. It is in the very patterns of their beliefs in the Armageddon that this consciousness of mankind will call forth his manifestation. As a coagulated persona in the physical form, this being will be viewed as a last hope by the crumbling religious organizations that will fall around you, all of which will be contrived and designed through cyber reality, the internet. Although his reign will be short-lived, he will be regarded as a spiritual wonder by millions and he will emerge as the crowning glory of the New World Order. <sighs> this great he god, it must be a male figure, it is after all the creation of the altered ego, and as well a manufactured god, born of the twisted teaching of, do of dogmatic religion. Therefore, this he god will be a charismatic Politician, politician, full of shit, isn't it? Spiritually advanced in his grasp of ancient knowledge. He is being trained by the negative side of the surviving mystery schools, what you might call the Dark Brotherhood. Through these teachings, he is being given very powerful understandings of the forces of nature. This is the Dark Brotherhood's last attempt to control billions of vulnerable people, to bring as many souls as is possible over to their side, thus commanding the reality space for the planet. As the final days of the third dimensional reality come to a close, it is the increasing intervention of the extraterrestrial forces in the next three years that upset the plans of these dark forces, however. Eventually, this entity will be confronted by these ambassadors of the galactic lesions. The years between 97, 99, 2000 through 2000 true. Now you have to take into consideration that this was a vision, prophesized prescience, the global narrative changes as we choose to change as we wake up um, to the, the truth. So those dates were off a bit, potentially, or maybe not. Who, who, who is to say, who, who? So he's saying that 99, 2003, 2002 will prove to be years of downward spiral of awareness, actually. Oh my gosh, look at the timeline, see what happened in those years, and he may be 100% correct. Pin the tail directly on the donkey's ass. 2003 through 2005 will be years of great revelation, while being years of intense vibratory shifting, which will fracture many previously icon iconized concepts, institutions, and idolatized. Keep in mind, it takes this kind of destructive restructive energy to break down and shift paradigms and as a result of the awareness of the masses expands to comprehend the presence of this extraterrestrial involvement in our world. Ultimately, the true nature and essence of this Antichrist, who is no more than a master manipulator of human consciousness, will be revealed. This Antichrist will possess the knowledge and abilities of an avatar. This Antichrist will possess the knowledge and abilities and be able to perform miracles such as a master. His emergence into the world prominence will be of signal to all of those that work in the light that this is a time for them to step forward. As those who work in the light use their abilities to access a level of consciousness that aligns with the Christ consciousness. They will expose his weaknesses and cause him to return to his true natural state. As he is confronted with an energy of a non-destructive nature. 
This effort will be unified and accomplished with the assistance of those from higher octaves in an attempt to preserve the hologram of human consciousness. It is necessary as you bridge the, div the dimensions and enter the fifth dimensional existence, not to cause the destruction of the alternative earth. The alternative earth must be saved as a landing pad for those who do not choose to embrace the fullness of Christ consciousness. These light workers in cooperation with the Grand Council are slated to dismantle the, ma the monastic radiation belt through the understanding of the higher octaves of human consciousness, the, the Christ within all, in each and every one of us, those who are not too hurt humans. They will create a natural group, Merkaba, around the planet Earth to allow the final stages of the transformation to take place. It should be noted here that your planet as a living entity has already evolved into the fifth dimensional vibratory field. In her, her nurturing way, she has never given up on her children. She is allowing humanity to move ahead by their own free choice at this time. All of the galactic bodies in the heavens, even the stars, possess consciousness. All is connected to divine source. Aho.